just really so pleased to receive this award. It's such a great honour. I work in the area of HIV prevention, and I think over the last uh, couple of decades, actually, HIV has sort of fallen off people's radar a little bit, um, which is a shame because there's been so many amazing advances that have been happening, both in the area of HIV treatment, but also in prevention. My research is in an area called HIV treatment as prevention. So this is the concept that if a person living with HIV is on highly effective HIV treatments, they can get the virus to an undetectable level in their body. And this can then mean that it's impossible for that person to pass on HIV sexually to a partner. So quite a few years ago now, about a decade ago, HIV treatment as prevention was pr proven completely in heterosexual couples, um, but it wasn't proven in men who have sex with men. So my research was um, called the Opposites Attract Study. And in this study, we enrolled 358 male-male uh, male couples where one partner had HIV and the other partner was HIV negative. Over follow-up, we analyzed over 16,000 acts of condomless sex within these couples, and we saw no instances of HIV transmission. And this was because the positive people in the study uh, were on HIV treatments, and had an undetectable viral load, and that meant they couldn't pass on the virus to their HIV negative partners. These results have really revolutionised HIV prevention globally, and as a result, we've seen a lot more people get onto HIV treatment. One thing I'm really proud about is the way that Opposites Attract has played a role in reducing HIV stigma. HIV stigma still gets in the way of people coming forward for HIV testing, HIV treatment, and also HIV prevention. So anything that we can do to reduce HIV stigma globally is going to have a really big impact. First and foremost, I'd really like to thank the study participants in Opposites Attract in Australia, Brazil and Thailand. Work like this is impossible if people don't come forward and volunteer their time and their energy, and particularly people living with HIV. Um, we wouldn't have made the advances that we've, we've made over the last few years without people participating in studies like this. Of course, there's been a lot of people that have supported both myself and also this study. I'd particularly like to thank my supervisor, Professor Andrew Krulik um, at the Kirby Institute for supporting my, my career and allowing me to be, to be the project leader of this study. And also uh, our network of clinical sites, the labs, the community-based organisations, and of course, all the study investigators. 